Welcome to Wild of the World and this year I'm on a big trip again around the world. I'll take you to all the continents but right now we're in the Canary Islands and we started across the water on Lanzarote. The start of our trip around the world was one big adventure. And now it's time to move on. And that brings us to the second destination, the island of Fuerteventura. We took the boat to Coralejo, a little fisherman's town in the north of the island. And there's already a lot to see here. Fuerteventura is an island, but in some places you'll find yourself wandering through a desert. The most beautiful sand dunes can be found in Parque Natural Dunas de Coralejo. And over here you can also find some volcanoes and the most beautiful beaches. Along this beautiful coastline we drive on to find some volcanoes. Fuerteventura has some of the most beautiful volcanoes that tower high above the roads when you drive around here. We stopped at Calderon Hondo, which is supposed to be the most beautiful one. So let's watch it from above with my drone. On the Canary Islands you can find these ravines created by the wind on the dry landscape and they are called barrancos. We're here at Barranco Encantado, one of the most beautiful ones. I'm going to walk through it and it reminds me a bit here of the canyons in the West USA. Because of the rough landscape I'm walking this hike alone for now. From the roads it takes me about half an hour to find the most beautiful spot. You would really forget that you're on Fuerteventura, right? These barrancos, they go on endlessly. Close to the car, we find one that seems custom made for yen size. We stay at a very central location on the island in Caleta de Fuste, an adorable little town with many restaurants and a play garden for us, uh, Jens. The hotel's name is Fuerte Sol and it has the biggest pool of the entire island. It's a bright new day here on Fuerteventura and the sun is shining. And where we explored the north before, we're now going to the most southern point of the island. Let's go! On the bottom of Fuerteventura, on the most southern cape, we find Parque Natural Gandia. And the entrance gate is the little town called Moro Gable. And we're here, standing right on top of this town with a beautiful view over its beach. One of the best beaches on Fuerteventura, Playa del Matorral.
What a lovely place to walk around for an afternoon. Cheers, and we're off. Punta Gandia looks a little bit like the end of the world. What a view! And far in the distance we see the spectacular mountains of Playa Cofete. Driving around on Fuerteventura, I noticed that there are a lot of windmills around here, so I looked it up. They were used to make gofio, something like wheat flour they used in the food in the past. Today, I thought it would be a good idea to see some of the most beautiful ones, and we start here in Lajares. You know guys, I'm a Dutchman, I gotta like windmills. In the town called Villa Verde, there are even two. The most beautiful windmill, in my opinion, is the one in Antigua. And you can actually take a look inside it. It's at Museo Queso Majorero, the cheese museum. So in the museum we also learn how to make Canarian goat cheese and we take a little stroll through the lovely cactus garden. hotel everything is just within an hour's drive and on the roads the beautiful views are countless you can't possibly miss the giant statues of Moro Velosa on Fuerteventura we will find a lot of old towns with a beautiful location between the mountains. By far the number one is Betancuria, where we are today. This little old town was founded in 1404 and it used to be the capital of the entire Canary Islands. And for hundreds of years it was the capital of Fuerteventura. Betancuria was founded by the Frenchman Jean de Betancourt. And despite the rich history, this village is tiny, but picture perfect. So, a new tijd van biertje. Lekker zeg. Je hebt geen bier. Lekker colaatje. Ja. 
after a short stop at the cutest inhabitants of Fuerteventura, it's time to say goodbye. Man, we enjoyed the Canary Islands so much. First Lanzarote and then Fuerteventura, but now it's time to leave the Canary Islands behind for this year. But as you know, we keep on traveling and I want to do everything as live as possible. And that's why I cannot show you images of the next trip we're going on, what I normally would. But I can tell you where we are going. And we're going to the Middle East, Oman. See you next time. <laughs>